Fans, guess what? It's me. I'm here at uh, my temporary duty station until we are uh, established, but I had to come out and uh, make a response video to the Oni, Akuma, and Evil Ryu had, that was, who has just been revealed um, via YouTube videos. Now, I wish I was back home to check it out uh, with the Street Fighter Arcade Edition, but me, I'm going to have to wait for the download content, uh, which is due out later this year. So, those of you uh, NMO fans, Raw Gameplay fans, and just fighting game enthusiasts alike, who are able to get to Chinatown Fair, take as many videos as possible because that's the only way I can see it. But um, uh, initial responses, uh, let's tackle Oni, aka Akuma. Now, I don't know if you guys remember the uh, first video that I did, which was discussing if they are to bring uh, Shin Akuma and Evil Ryu into the Street Fighter 4 universe. Will they have different moves? Or are they going to just be like rehashes? And uh, what in terms of Oni, I'm kind of on the fence because they look like they took Gokin's model and put Akuma and took an Oni Musha approach to uh, Oni. Now, here are some questions that pop up. How did Akuma reach that level of power? Like, I mean, that's basically making Gokin look extra weak and then go tetsu is like wasn't he his teacher like what, what's going on here like i would assume that go tetsu probably hit this level of of power and was happy maybe akuma took him out or something but somehow in the story they're gonna have to explain how akuma got to this level before street fighter 3 and in street fighter 3 you just got normal akuma so where does he fit in the timeline and is, is, is he just a what if character I would hate that it be a what if character because that, that I'm tired of this like you know characters just being thrown in there like that but in that that's all I have to say in terms of story so NMO fans let me know what you think about how this mysterious version of Akuma came to be so you can leave your comments below now, uh, as far as his move set, he's going to be extremely cheap. I'm, I'm sorry. With a double jump and air dashing, this isn't fucking Guilty Gear. Like, come on. Like, I, I, I don't know about that. But he has it. And I, I am impressed, though, with uh, how they did the fire effects and, you know, just his overall look. And, uh, I mean, his, his ultras look pretty sick. I mean that that crazy Shoryuken where he does the the one uppercut sends you in the air starts flying up like it's a comic book or something and then bam and then you just got the the the, the ten sign out there so I would say uh, for both characters some of their ultras just look really over the top but I mean it's it's I like it because you know what my Mugen characters I go over the top at times so um, that's something that I like. But as far as um, Oni, I'm glad it's not just a rehash of Shin Akuma. It's, it's something different. But it, I even noticed that he had like a dashing chop strike, which is looks like a modified palm strike from Goken. But it, m as uh, more information pops up, I'll be able to do some more uh, analysis for you. Now getting on to Evil Ryu. Bravo. Bravo! They, they did a really good job with his model, some of his attacks. Although, like you, you see a lot of Akuma in him, but he still has a lot that makes him separate from the standard Ryu and and uh, you know the Goki. Now, even with his focus attack, it looks like a wild hook punch. You, he has like the diagonal um, down kick and and what have you. But um, one thing that 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 caught my attention is the scar on his chest now I'm led to assume that maybe the Satsui no Hado had gotten to a level where it just burst out of his chest leaving like a nasty scar and whatnot and even on Oni and Evil Ryu alike you can see their, um, their their kanji signs on their back and I mean I would say 
initially I was put off by that scar but if they kind of uh, explain w w why that's there that would be you know, something that uh, I, I can probably accept but um, overall Evil Ryu I, I, I'm glad he's in it and I'm glad that they kind of changed him up a bit he's not just you know a, a pilot swap and whatnot and it's cool how you see like the hair floating and whatnot like DBZ and all that good stuff but um, unfortunately I won't get my hands on him for a long time so I need you NMO fans to give me as much information as possible and let me know what you think about these uh, two characters being installed into the Street Fighter 4 storyline but uh, again that 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 Metsu show you rapper into the that choke slam thing wow I, I have to say they Ono-san R&D team for Street Fighter 4 y'all did a good job but now the most important thing is the story how did Akuma get to that state and is Evil Ryu just a simple Evil Ryu or is he a Evil Ryu at another level with the power going beyond uh, you know his limits because some of the stuff that I'm seeing it looks like he's like a Blood Riot uh, Aori or whatnot but I have to give thumbs up to that you know it, it, the characters being brought back with a new modern spin that that's you know uh, it's not a bad thing but that's all I got for you NMO fans I like them uh, I hope we get to see more stuff and uh, I'll be checking eventhubs.com uh, to you know make sure that I can at least have an idea so when I get to download uh, that content to, to my Xbox overseas that um, you know I'm not completely left in the dark but let me know what you think this has been Alex Lexis on the road giving you an NMO mini short I will see you and best wishes to everyone peace <laughs>